The events you see on Blade Warriors are performed by experienced skaters wearing specially designed protective gear. Unless you're an expert skater, please don't attempt the extreme skating you see on Blade Warriors. And remember, always wear protective gear and skate safely. Welcome back to Blade Warriors, everyone. You know, Jim, these challengers are just going over the top with competition, but they've got reason to. There's a lot at stake. Try 100,000 dead presidents, and the way this place has been rocking, we might just wake them up. Now, here's how it works. Our season is divided into two divisions. Our first six shows are the elimination rounds. The winners there plus, and this is important, the two highest scoring men's and women's runners up who move on and compete in the quarterfinals. The winners there will then go head to head in the semis and then on to the finals. And finally, we'll have our Division I men's and women's finalists. Then we'll get together for the second half of the season and do it all over again with new challengers. The two final men's and women's com competitors will get together for $100,000 at stake. Thanks, Jim. Now let's get right back to the action. Kiana's waiting to tell us about Full Tilt. All right, thanks, Mac. All right, you Blade Warrior fans at home better buckle your seatbelts. It's going to get really bumpy out here. All right, Full Tilt involves a 200-square-foot rockin' and rollin' teeter-totter. The challenger's job is to stay up top without falling off. If they can do so for 15 seconds, they get 5 points. If they stay up there for 30 seconds, they get 10 points. But if they can get the Warrior to take a dive, they get 20 points. But unfortunately, if the challenger takes a dive, they get zero, nada, zero, nothing. Thanks, Kiana. As you can see, we've got Eric Wiley Coyote up on top of the full tilt platform. He's the warrior going up against challenger Carl Vogel. Carl says that the Blade Warrior experience is strengthening more than just his skating. I think Blade Warriors is going to make me a stronger person in, in a lot of things in life. Uh, it's, it's, there's a lot of challenges with Blade Warriors, and uh, yeah, definitely, I'd say it's going to make me stronger. It's just another stepping stone. Well, there's Carl's new bride, Heather. They both took that big step together recently, but right now, Carl's got to go it alone up there on the big board against warrior Eric Wiley. Get ready. Straight ahead is full tilt. Well, it's Carl Vogel and Eric Wiley as we get underway. The quick start is Carl Vogel in the red. He's jumping back and forth, trying to get the board to swing. He's got Eric Wiley playing defense as they both kind of stagger, looking for their balance right there. They've regained it. They're keeping their knees bent. Carl Vogel just shooting from one side to the other to try to keep that center of gravity low. Where he's earned his five points and we move past 15 seconds. Eric Wiley now on the other side. He's back in the center. Carl Vogel is going from one end to the other as the board is swinging drastically. Five seconds left with Carl Vogel out real wide. He's got Eric Wiley down in the end. The board swings down. Right at the buzzer. Carl Vogel puts his hand up. He's excited about that full ride. That'll learn at 10 points. Heather is just as excited, too, as it seemed Eric Wiley was battling Team Vogel. Well, Carl is the comeback kid today. He almost loses it early on, but he hangs on for the full 30 and picks up 10 points. Now it's Nick Smith's turn. He's trailing Carl by 16, so you know he's looking to knock Eric off and pull into the lead. Mac Nick Smith got to watch Carl Vogel up there against Eric Wiley. Now it's his turn, and with that larger frame, that higher center of gravity, this full tilt platform is difficult for him as he goes down immediately. Eric Wiley eggs him off with the finger, and he comes back the other way. And Nick Smith, who was on his diving team in college, takes an early dive here. Nick Smith not very happy about his performance up there, but warrior Eric Wiley is obviously pleased with his own. Take a look. Nick's height seemed to just work against him. He never really got into the game. Loses his footing, and that was that. So after two events for the men, it's Carl Vogel with 18 and Nick Smith with two. And now it's time for the women to take their turn at full tilt. The warrior for this game is Kim Bowie. Kim is what you'd call compact. But don't let her size fool you. That lower center of gravity is going to make her very tough for these taller challengers to topple. First up against Kimbo is Allison Elner as we get set for the action. Jim? Come back. You know, Kimbo will be the first one to tell you you can put a lot of heart in a little package. And those steps she takes right off the bat are fast. She's got those short, choppy steps. And the moves that kind of fake Allison. Allison's down onto her hands. She's able to recover, and Kimbo scoots back the other way. Allison, good job of making her way back up into the middle. Kim Bowie does a nice spin around. She gets the board going back up. Allison Eller got her five points. Kim Bowie had a little problem there. She went down, and now they're doing the mirror drill. As Kimbo with a little chatter, a nice reverse move. She gets Allison down on her backside, but it looks like Allison's going to be able to hold on as we wind down here. Kim Bowie all over the platform, but Allison Eller does a great job. 
Allison looks like she's just about to go down as Kim Bowie is putting on the moves, but Allison regains her composure, is able to stay up for the full 30 and 10 points, breaking her tie with Cepeda. Well, you know, Max Cepeda knew he, who was born in Iran, probably the best Iranian inline skater ever came from that country, has got her work cut out for her. She wants to be a pediatrician, but right now I think she wants to be the bully on the playground. She's going up against Kim Bowie, and Kim Bowie, as we saw, has got tons of attitude in this event and a lot of quickness. Cepeda trying to find her center right now. She goes down. Kim Bowie gets her quickly to slide down. Kim Bowie in record time just demolishing Cepeda Nui as she takes the slide and down onto the mats. Cepeda Nui unable to put any points on the board as Kim Bowie puts her down in almost record time. So at the end of two full events for the women, Allison Elner has 18, Cepeda 8. Well, Matt, both of our leaders use the full ride in full tilt to extend their leads. I think for Nick Smith right now in the men's division that it's very important that he score big and hard in Technotech. He's got a big deficit to come back from. Let's see if he can do it as Kiana is ready to explain our next event, Technotag. All right, well, you're going to see sparks fly in this game. Technotag is an electrifying version of the game of tag. The challengers go up against four warriors. They've got to chase them down and tag the warriors by grabbing these flashing power sticks off of their body. Once they get them, they plug them into that power station right there to score. But they're going to have to be quick, because once the warriors get charged up and sparks fly, they're going to leave the challengers in the dark. Well, Kiana, if darkness falls, it'll be because of Eric Wiley and Corey Miller. They're going to shut down the power, as well as Chris Mitchell and Alan Bono on the other side. As we mix it up, look for mayhem to rain down on the flat bottom. It's going to get outrageous and out of control, Mac. And Jim, this is Technotag. 60 seconds to play. Players get four points for every flashing light stick they can slide into the scoring tube. A total of 64 points are potentially at stake here. Well, there's a lot of attitude at stake here, too. Corey Miller just perched up on top of the fence right now. He'll get things going as they get down to the flat bottom. Then he can happen. It's going to happen here at Technotag. Nick Smith is ripping one away from Chris Mitchell. Carl Vogel was right on top of him, too. Carl Vogel still trying to get that one free. He gets the strength to rip it away, and he gets up on top and skates right past a nice clean pass of scoring. Corey Miller got away from Nick Smith, so Nick Smith is circling back around. Carl Vogel with a hold of Corey. Now Corey's using his hands to try and free, so free himself. He can't do so. Carl Vogel finally gets one away, and he'll get that one back up and into the scoring pit. Nick Smith, with under 30 seconds left, scores himself. Carl Vogel skating around. He's got a hold of Alan Bono. They're buttoned heads all over the place. Nick Smith ripping one away. Carl Vogel still trying to get this free. Roger, 20 seconds. He's up on top. He scores. Nick Smith is taking his baton up. He has scored again. They run into each other now as they circle back out looking for one more. We're under 10 seconds. Carl Vogel gets a swat at Eric Wiley as he goes by and he's still hanging on to him. He's zoned in on that one baton. He rips it free. He's coming up. It's going to be in the buzzer and he strikes it in with the sound of the buzzer still going off. We'll have to see if that one will count. Jim Carl is going to be disappointed. The referee is saying that last score was after the buzzer, but both these challengers poured on the speed, battling with all the upper body strength they could muster. Both score three Technotag batons for 12 points apiece. Let's go to Kiana. All right, Carl, you're getting a little bit upset about the score here. Uh, I'm not upset, but I, I know I got it in. So you think you got it in before the buzzer? Oh, uh, I know I did. It was, the buzzer was still going when I slammed it in, but started as I slammed it in. Well, unfortunately, it's a tie. Better luck in the next game. All right, Nick, how about you? Were you prepared with the physical aspect of this game? I mean, you're sweating up a storm here. Yeah, I was ready for this. I came out. I went to practice for this. I worked my butt off. I was ready for this one. This one was, this one was the easiest one for me. Well, good job. Well, that's what it's all about, winning, losing, and tying. So at the end of three events for the men, Carl Vogel is really starting to stretch his lead over Nick Smith with a score of 30 to 14. Now let's watch as our women try a power play in Technotag. Cepeda will be racing to catch up with Allison, and they'll both be going against Blade Warriors, Deanna Wilshire, Tammy Gantz, Katie Boomer, and Kim Bowie. Let's go to the action, and Jim...